Hello, how's it going? For this video, I want to show you how you can sketch an angle using a given point. Now, I really like uh, problems like this because they show a good connection between uh, the trigonometric stuff that uh, we can do along with a lot of the graphing stuff that we might already be familiar with, say from algebra or some pre-calculus class. Um, so the idea here is that we're going to be given some sort of point, and I'm going to show how it connects to some sort of angle on a coordinate axis uh, simply by sketching it out. If we've got a little bit more time, maybe we'll go ahead and figure out more information about that particular angle. So for this first one, we're going to start off with a point 3, 4. So really what I want to do is locate that on my coordinate axes, just like that. Now with that point, we can associate uh, an angle. And the way we do that is we take a ray, it goes, or it starts right at the origin and goes through this point. So let's go ahead and draw that right now. All right, so that would uh, be my ray. It forms an angle if we look at it in relation to the x-axis. So I might imagine that as another ray. And then sure enough, notice how this guy marks out an angle. So a really great connection between what we do in a lot of uh, algebra courses uh, to the trigonometry that we have. Now, as long as we have this, we can also figure out a little bit more about it. We can figure out this value the length of r, and that's really the distance from the origin to our point. To figure out something like that, it all comes down to recognizing that we have a nice little triangle working in the background, a little right triangle, and then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what the distance of r is. We simply take our one side, this is a side of 3, so 3 squared, plus this side, 4 squared, and that should equal our hypotenuse r squared. So this problem's not too bad. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. So 25 equals r squared. Or if we take the square root of both sides, I can simply say that r is equal to 5, and now I have that length. Uh, distances like this will be important as we make even more connections to our trigonometric functions. But let's go ahead and sketch out one more angle. See how this might work for a different point. Okay, so this one's at negative 4, 4. And like before, I just want to use my coordinate axes to mark out where this thing is. So negative 4 in the x direction, positive 4 in the y direction. There we have a point right there. And for our angle, of course, we want to imagine starting along this x-axis and sweeping it out until it goes through that point. So our ray will uh, start at the origin, go through our point, and it'll look something like... Now, we'll, we can usually mark out that angle, um, so let's go ahead and put that in there starting at the x-axis. Nice. So, like before, we have a nice angle that goes through our point, um, and let's go ahead and figure out that r value like we did last time. And again, that's just the distance from the origin to that point. We want to imagine another right triangle hiding in the background. When we make these right triangles, it's good to note that we always do these in relation to the x-axis. So I'm not trying to create a weird wonky triangle out here. Nope, just trying to create a nice right one with relation to that x-axis. All right, so I need two sides. Looks like this side is 4. This side is also 4. Those come directly from where our point's located. And that will equal the radius squared. So 16 plus 16 equals radius squared, or 32. And then if we want the, uh, the r just by itself, we'll take the square root. So I have the square root of 32. Uh, that can definitely be simplified. This is 16 times 2. So square root of 16, square root of 2. r is equal to 4 times the square root of 2. Nice. Now again, you'll see many more connections to this once you get into the trigonometric uh, functions like sine and cosine, but it's good to start recognizing those now so that you can start sketching things or, or at least knowing how they're related to individual points on the graph. All right? If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.